Yeah, that's an interesting question. Now, uh, when you say hardest, it's really uh, subjective. Um, I mean, there are uh, ways we can define hardest, right? Uh, maybe technically, whether it was hard or whether it was mind stimulating, right? Uh, but I'll uh, probably share one such experience and we'll see whether that is actually hard or not, right? So this was way back in, I think, 2019 when I was uh, hunting for a data science job and I had interviewed at uh, one of the you know, marketing pioneers uh, in startup, right? They, so their uh, aim was to uh, you know, use data science to target better customers and come up with better marketing strategies and stuff, right? So I had cleared all the uh, technical interviews and uh, the final round was with the CTO. Now, uh, coming from, you know, service-based industry uh, then and, uh, you know, having just cleared uh, interviews, technical interviews, right? I had no idea what a, what an interview with a senior management uh, guy uh, should expect and what I should expect from them, right? Uh, so uh, what I uh, did was I was you know crazy nervous and I, let's see how it goes. I, I had no expectations, you know, nothing uh, prior to entering that room. So uh, once I entered the room, the normal chit chat started. How are you? How was the interview and stuff, right? Uh, so once we uh, got to the interview, he asked me just one question, right? And it was uh, he gave a scenario and asked me to. Solve it, right? Now, uh, the scenario was, uh, he said, uh, assume that you are staying in a gated community, like a gated society in Bangalore, right? Uh, which has, you know, 10, 12 uh, buildings and each building has, uh, let's say, 15 to 20 floors, right? And this whole gated uh, community, there's only one uh, grocery store, right? Which was established way back uh, when the society or the community started construction, right? And uh, with the advent of so many uh, e-commerce sites like Amazon, Flipkart and all, uh, the sales of uh, that grocery store has plummeted, right? And uh, the shopkeeper is, uh, I mean, since the sales have dried up, the shopkeeper has, uh, I mean, his savings has dried up. All he has is probably one month of rent and a 10,000 uh, rupee in his savings account, right? Now, he asked me, what, how would you solve his problem by right, using data science? How would you boost his sales using data, data, data science? And how would you help him manage his operation using data science? Right. So uh, like any other uh, uh, you know, data science guy who has just entered into the field, I gave some very naive answers, uh, like you know, ask him to hire a delivery guy so he can compete with Amazon, look at the prices of Amazon and uh, label his prices accordingly and stuff like that. Right? However, uh, those were definitely not correct. So don't go about uh, you know, replicating the, these answers uh, going ahead. Right? Uh, what he did was, the direct, uh, the CTO, he, uh, what he did was, he asked me a bunch of questions to, uh, you know, to counter my answers. Right. And we had a good uh, healthy uh, discussion of around, I think, 30 to 45 minutes. Right? And we had this whole analysis in front of us right, on a whiteboard. And I think we had actually solved, I mean, we had at least uh, come up with an approach to solve uh, that problem. Now, I won't share uh, what exactly uh, was the solution because, I mean, if this video goes to YouTube, right, and... Uh, I mean, I and the viewers. Uh, if I want viewers to, you know, get something out of this video, I would probably want them to, you know, have some independent thinking, and uh, uh, you know, I can just give them a perspective. But uh, it's better they come up with their own answers. So, uh, viewers, uh, let me let us know in the comment uh, box if you have you know, any such answers to this. Right? I would uh, skip few uh, naive answers like like I did, right? Hiring delivery guys and stuff like that. Forget about that, right? All right, so uh, now uh, coming to uh, why it was 
hard right why this question was hard uh, and from the first look i think it looks pretty uh, i mean sounds pretty simple right you have to boost sales right predict sales predict something and it will be done but you know the the hardest part of this uh, question was that it required a bunch of uh, or a spectrum of uh, skill to uh, to be solved right so uh, through this question the cpo was actually testing my uh, you know business understanding my analytical skills my data science skills obviously right and then uh, how how customer centric can i get right uh, how far can i go to solve any problem right so these are a bunch of uh, i would say uh, spectrum of uh, skills which was which i was being tested on right and one uh, use case or solving this one use case help him understand what i was capable of right so yeah this was uh, i think the hardest data science question i ever had obviously there were a lot of other technical uh, questions in interviews and those are pretty much i think uh, okay because if you are asked a question on data science you know if you know data science pretty well probably you can explain it very well but if uh, i mean the questions get tough tougher right well uh someone combine you know a lot of field right and you have to i mean and that, the experience from those lot of those all the all of those fields is put into one question and projected onto you right that's when it uh, gets harder